Okay, so I have the gyro sensor now connected to the power supply and the scope is now hooked to the output of the gyro sensor there and it is gonna capture the output of the gyro um, so the experiment is um, I will also have spectra running on my um, tablet right there and as I tap on the barrel will uh, be able to capture the uh, harmonics both from the gyro sensor right there and through the audio spectrum with spectroid all right i'm going to reset first before we tap and then capture the gyro here we go right there is about 348 Hertz and with the gyro sensor there you go the harmonic right there is 348 Hertz so the gyro sensor is matching what we measure with spectroid the audio spectrum so there's a correlation between the two sensors there so it seems to be working so that's great um, there are some issues with the gyro sensor um, as I zoom in you'll see what I'm talking about um, there's a lot of noise from the uh, gyro sensor you see those sinusoidal um, that's about 17 and a half kilohertz that's coming from the self-resonant frequency of the sensor itself so I might have to tune the filter to get rid of those noise from the sensor but it is actually working now um, as you can see um, as I move the capture data you see the huge spike when I tap on the barrel sensor here. I'm zooming in uh, to the plot. And you can see exactly when I tap on the sensor, there's a gyro sensor going down and then bouncing around. And that frequency that it bounced around was about 348 hertz. lasted quite a while pretty exciting so the gyro sensor is working that's it